Paris poop protest was supposed to happen today in the Seine. So here's the update everyone's been waiting for. All right, guys, what is this poop protest all about? And will the river be safe and ready for the Olympic events, for the triathlon and the swim marathon coming up in the next few days and weeks? So the basic problem here is that raw sewage, basically anything that is wastewater, anything that goes into a toilet bowl, can end up in the Seine River. So this comes down to the fact that Paris has what's called a combined sewer system, which means that it combines wastewater and stormwater. You can see here under dry conditions that wastewater and stormwater goes through the same piping and sewer system and ends up in the treatment plant in that POTW or publicly owned treatment works. Now, under wet conditions, unfortunately, what happens is that as you overwhelm the ability of that system to carry the combined wastewater and stormwater to the treatment plant, the escape valve is that some of that water escapes into the river to prevent that sewer backup. So now you have wastewater mixed in with stormwater ending up directly in the river. So you're basically swimming with poo. Now to prevent this in advance of the games, they invested about $2 billion to improve their sewer system so that the sewer system doesn't get overwhelmed when there's a lot of rain and we don't get that wastewater into the river. But is it working? So the water quality is actually tested in that river every single day and has been for several months now. And according to the World Triathlon Federation and European authorities, what we're looking for in terms of bacterial load in that water is 900 or fewer colony forming units of E. coli per 100 mils of water. So basically that's an index of how much E. coli bacteria is actually in that water. And because E. coli is the prominent bacteria in stool or feces, that tells us how much of that raw sewage is actually in that river. And the Fluidion Open Data Initiative is one of the groups that's testing that water quality every day and making it available to the public. So what you have here is their graph of the water quality in the Seine between April and now. And what you have there are these yellow dots and red triangles, and that's what you're looking at in terms of how much E. coli is in the river. And at the very bottom, you see this solid red line. That's a thousand colony forming units per 100 ml. So that's just about the line of acceptability. And you see that those yellow dots and red triangles are generally above that for much of the spring and summer. But more recently, in the last week or so, you see that they come down and on some days are actually below that line. So we actually have acceptable water quality on some days. The other thing you'll notice is that there's this gray line there, this gray vertical line, and the numbers generally get better after that. That line is when Paris started using this massive underground reservoir that they built to hold stormwater when it rains a lot, and it can fit 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools worth of stormwater, and it does seem to be having an impact. And what can happen to athletes if they're swimming in unacceptably polluted water? So the issue here is that you have wastewater, which contains bacteria, viruses, fungus, parasites, and you're swimming in that water, inevitably you swallow a little bit of that water. So the biggest risk is actually gastroenteritis. It's actually uh, swallowing some water and then getting a gastrointestinal infection, which will get you sick for a few days. Probably won't affect your performance during the event, but getting you sick in the next few days afterwards. Uh, swimming in that wastewater can also cause eye infections, ear infections, throat infections, basically anything that's exposed. Uh, if you've got an open wound on the skin, you're worried about a skin infection could also be a source for the bacteria to get into the bloodstream and cause a more serious infection. So these are real concerns for the athletes. Will it be below that acceptability limit? Um, we don't know. Uh, it fluctuates above and below. Some days are good, some days are not. It really will be a game time decision and it'll partly be a function of how much it rains on that particular day. Coming back to the poo protest though, this was a protest by Parisians um, against all the money that was spent to remediate the Seine for the Olympics that could have gone to other things. Uh, and so Parisians were saying they were going to literally poo in the river uh, before the mayor or the minister of sport uh, took their swim in the river uh, for their photo ops uh, in protest of all this public money that was spent. So there you have it. I hope they get to swim in the river and I hope you enjoy the Olympics.